started, you said that it's hometown. You have a lot of pressure riding on you. How do you feel like you manage that? Well, you know, like the experience was awesome. So in the relays and individual meets, it's mm -hmm. it's it's amazing. Like seeing all the public in the stands. Soto Mayor, Leon, Napo, NK, Peru. The stadium was full. It was all vibration. It felt amazing. Like we were on the blocks and everything was like shaking, and it was it was amazing. Like, you could see everyone smiling with the music jumping, mm. crying, <laughs> and it was awesome, like it felt amazing and yeah. so like the support of the Peruvians, it felt like really to the heart. How does the rest of your team feel about coming out here and performing? Because it's a huge thing, some of it might be more mentally challenging than it really is. Yeah, you know, for, for most of the team, it was maybe one of their first big meets. For a bunch of us, it was, well, looking for improving times, maybe looking for a semi-final or a final, all the support of the team for the coaches and all the team was like super supportive. Like we would go, if we don't race the same day, we would like to go to the stands and yeah. watch everyone race, yeah. start screaming yeah. and say, hey, go for it. And you know, it was awesome because you feel like really team bonding on the team. For the 100, you were just electric. Walking out, everybody could just see your energy, see your focus. And then the start, you just, you just went. Um, you really drew everybody's attention. But coming from the outside lane, what was your thoughts making it into the finals? Well, I it was the least expected. Mm. I definitely didn't expect going to finals. It was my best time out of all time. It was awesome because it was semis were like more of like having fun mm -hmm. because that's the fun part of it. Like the sport brings like the great part of sport is bringing fun with it. Yeah. Like all the yeah. emotions, the adrenaline yeah. and the fun you, that you got. It's awesome because you make friendships and you have fun. And like that's a big part. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. When they switch the panel and they switch the qualify for finals, I was in top eight and I was like, oh my god, what is this? And I didn't expect it because I was in place six on my yeah. team. So yeah. I was like, oh no, it's okay. Like I really enjoy my time. How do you feel like this will push you and 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 help you transition into next year when there are so many bigger meets? For next World Juniors, mm -hmm. I have one more junior left. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I feel it's going to be fun because racing my first World Juniors at home, it felt like super good. Yeah. And now racing into another World Juniors, it will be fun. Most of it, have fun. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what it's about. What do you do on your off time? I usually hang out with my friends. I really like spend time talking with my friends. Yeah. I wasn't like a uh, really talkative person. I, I didn't like to talk that much like a few years ago. Yeah. But most of the times like people get sometimes scared of me. I post sometimes having fun yeah. because I have this like before races like mm -hmm. using this like hat, this blue hat mm -hmm. and some sunglasses. I always do that. Like they always tell me like even it's indoors or outdoors, I'm always wearing the same. So it's like, why are you wearing like sunglasses and that? It's like, no, it's it's just because I want to have fun. You know, it's like, I always like to have the opportunity to meet people mm -hmm. because sometimes you think, oh no, it's so embarrassing to talk to them. And I, I've been in that place mm -hmm. and it's always having the chance to meet people. So don't be afraid to do it. I just want to like make friends, have fun. We all in sport have have a dream. We mm -hmm. all have a dream. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing about a sport. It's super fun because we find people with the same interests. Just anything to say to your fans that have followed you throughout the years? I would like to say really thank you mm -hmm. because I think the support of people, there's always haters and people who support you. There's a saying that my mom once told me. It's about whenever you try to get out of the war, there will be people pushing you to go out mm -hmm. and people trying to drown you. Mm -hmm. So the thing in there, it's you have to get supported into people that are with you and try to not ignore, but get the thing on enjoying and avoiding people that are yeah. negative in your yeah. life. And I really can tell that the support in everyone, it feels amazing and I'm really grateful about it. All my family, my friends, and I feel super grateful about it.